Hello? Oh, okay. Okay, so it's me, not last, and it looks like game one PSI guy versus Arrow. I'm actually not sure how often these two play each other, because I know they're both regulars at World's Collide when it was still um, going. So I imagine they probably played like, they probably play at least once or twice. Oh, that was a really good turnaround of B. So Nessus historically always struggled against sword characters. And Arrow just completely dominated that stock. Didn't let him come back, didn't let him breathe or anything, and good bomb recovery. Yeah, the PSI guy seems to be stuck. Oh, he's definitely gonna come for that. Okay, so 43% isn't the worst. He could definitely still bring this back. But like, as I say that, Arrow continues to rack up the damage. Ooh, nice ledge pump, but doesn't really capitalize off of it. Because that would hit though. Yeah, the ESI guy is just struggling to get in against Arrow right now. Yeah, this guy guy is in a really bad situation right now where he has no choice but to approach now. But Link is just really good at keeping opponents out. And that was a really good up out of the field. So it looks like PSI guy is just going to run it back. I guess he recognized that the stage wasn't the issue at hand, and I guess he's made some adjustments, but we'll see as this game and the set progresses. Three, two, one, go! Okay, and now he's off to a much better start from the previous game. And PSI was doing a really good job of keeping Arrow stuck at the ledge, but then he overextended with that approaching bear. And just like that, Arrow evens up the game. Good job. Now it's his turn to keep him stuck at the ledge. Ooh, good bomb. If that would have hit, that would have definitely been the stock. That... Oh, I'm surprised I didn't kill, but that was a really good conversion on Arrow again. So yeah, even though PS I guy is definitely keeping it closer this game around, it still feels like Arrow is just in control of the matchup. Overall, being able to keep out PSI guy really well. And doing a really good job of just keeping him stuck at the ledge once he pushes in there. Oh, those recoveries are always unfortunate. And wow. That was good. So it looks like PSI guy didn't let that recovery uh, deter him. And just like that, he's brought back the lead. And good damage, good damage. Oh, but Arrow with a really good recovery there. And Arrow has been getting a lot of mileage from these up the out of shields. Like, yes, it is like a high committal option, but Arrow recognizes when PSI guy overextends. And so far, each and every one of them has hit the mark. So this. So. The PSI guy has to be looking at this and think, okay, if he's calling me out this hard with such a committal option, is there something that I'm doing that's really predictable? Okay, and he started to catch on. And now he has the lead. So now it's just a matter of being able to keep the lead. But with that bomb at the ledge, oh, good catch. Here comes the punish. Oh, no, the PSI guy got scared and rolled back. Okay, good recovery. Yeah, this is Arrow's favorite part of the game, keeping him stuck at the ledge. Arrow is one of the be best ledge trappers that I know. He's really good at keeping opponents stuck at the ledge. 
with his good spacing and his bomb placements especially. And this is also where Psy Guy struggles a lot. Um, er oh, I was gonna do that. But anyways, this is one of the things that that Era has been capitalized on a lot of this guy, and that's his recovery. Uh, not his recovery, his landing options. And that's gonna be it. Yeah, like, one really big thing there that um, Arrow was really capitalizing off was PSI guy's aggressive landing options. Every time PSI... We're playing already? Oh, I guess.